G'day guys, welcome to Spacey's Arcade. Today we are going to play the best Atari strategy game ever on the 8-bit. And it is of course Mule. And boy, have I played the hell out of this game back in the day. And played it over the years and keep coming back to it. It's a, an amazing strategy game guys and each game is completely different. And one of the things on my bucket list is to get a, um, a world high score <laughs> on Twin Galaxies in Mule. And part of the reason for that is that there's no one's put up a score on the Atari Mule at the moment. There's two scores up there for the C64 version uh, on emulation, not on real hardware. And those aren't verified anymore in terms of the way they were submitted. So it's a pretty uh, open landscape, guys, uh, to get a world record up. So I want to try and do that. Um, notwithstanding some of you punters out there that might <laughs> want to get into this as well and put up a score. Um, but look, it's going to take a few practice rounds. And it, it's a game filled with some randomness. And just getting that really good score is just a, you know... A combination of good strategy but also a lot of things have to go your way so we'll see how we go on this particular game it's a sort of a little bit of a just a, a show and tell and uh and then one day we may you know set up the full atari system and play it for real on atari hardware so we're just doing emulation today so what we want to do is we want to get to two planeteers we're going to play against three of the computers and we want the tournament option and then we can press uh, start select the joystick I do have a Atari joystick hooked up to the PC guys to give that authentic feel and there's lots to talk about when we get into Mule so we'll just get into it get started and I'll try and explain a few things as we uh, as we go along I miss my blue colour, always like to be blue, so let's just come back to uh, to blue. And with the species pick, guys, there's a lot of just different types of um, players that you can play here. They're, they're all the same except for the, the way they look, um, besides two particular characters. So you've got one character, uh, the humanoid, which is an expert species, and you get $400 less to start. That's actually not a bad thing in Mule because just the way the, the game works is actually better to have less money than the computers at the start and be at the bottom of the, the table and less bad things happen to you and more good things happen and some of the random elements. Um, but you do start with less cash so it can be a little bit uh, difficult from, from that point of view. Or you can choose the flapper and you get an extra $600 um, and that's a beginner species, but then you put right at the top at the start, and then you can get bad things happen to you and stuff. So it's sort of, you know, it, it, it's interesting which to choose in terms of a strategy. We could just go for one of the, the normal characters. I often choose the packer, um, which is smiling. But I think today, actually, we're just going to go straight in and choose the humanoid. Um, the hardest one have the less cash and see how we go uh, it says it starts with less than 400 but the computers actually get 200 more anyway for being a computer and so the difference is actually 600 to start so guys let's head into the game and here we've got the three computer players and myself and we're landing on the planet Irata or Irata and of course that is Atari backwards took me a long time to realize that <laughs> but that's quite a nice little thing it was built on the Atari or programmed on the Atari first and then uh, ported across to C64 and there's been a couple of other versions as well um, released on other platforms but I think this is the definitive one the C64 one is pretty close to this so we're gonna land on this planet Irata here and we've got to colonize it basically guys and it's a typical resources strategy type type game we 
to start off with our summary and we have our cash you can see I've only got $600 down the bottom there land we have no land at the moment and 150 of goods which would be just the, the food and energy I think starting um, goods and that gives us a total so let's get a plot of land and we'll talk about a few other things so the ship Huru's off for 12 turns effectively 12 months and the first thing we get the opportunity to get is some free land now I don't like getting that top block and the computer's always going to be faster than me oh no everyone's gonna oh, everyone's going for the river I'm not gonna get it oh, oh that was lucky <laughs> uh, it's a really hard playing against the computer when you're trying to get these plots of of land because they're always going to beat you for speed so anyway look I'll tell you what's going on in the game as we go through guys but the bottom line is, is that for to get a world high score um, the current well average games for your individual score around about a good game is sort of 20 to 25,000 is pretty typical um, by the end of the 12 months uh, if you're getting over 30,000 you're having a you know a really good game uh, 40,000 is really really difficult and then you know if you're getting just over 50,000 then yeah you're right up there um, and the current there's only two scores posted for C64 and one of them is actually 57,800 or so that's just a really really big score um, again it's not verified as such uh, it was from the old rules I believe so you know who knows uh, but we're going to try our best so that's the individual score and then there's an overall colony score which isn't part of the Twin Galaxies uh, world record uh, rules uh, but there's an overall colony score from the combination of everyone's results the three computers and mine um, and that, that doesn't count but it's still quite cool to try and get um, a good a good colony score as well because you get a special message at the end about how well your colony is done and any colony over a hundred thousand in total is a really good score guys so ultimately yeah which anywhere above thirty thousand for an individual score would be a great game if you get uh, a colony score over a hundred thousand that's always awesome they even have it in the in the rule book that if you play on expert and you get over a hundred thousand we want to hear from you that was back from when electronic arts released it so they knew it was going to be difficult to achieve that so let's see how we go um, I am going to just grab myself a mule here and outfit it for food and I wasn't actually watching the computers and what they were doing in terms of where the crystite was and we want to know where the crystite is because that is the mining up the top here uh, is the one that we want to get later for getting the most money the time's running down pretty quickly let me just check this plot right here I'm just going to check it for crystite it says low so there's probably there'll be a, a medium and a high crystite plot close to that is how it works and the resources that we have crystite um, is a bit like sort of gold um, and you can get the most money from mining crystite the next one across was smith ore and that's used for actually creating the mules um, and then we have uh, energy and then we have food and smith ore energy and food are all affected by supply and demand and uh, we have a store that has items and you just saw that we had a fire in the store which is one of the events uh, which is random events and uh, because we've had a fire in the store we don't have anything to buy from the store uh, which causes its own little challenges so this first little um, screen here is we go through the series of auctions for the stuff that we produce and we have the smith ore auction the guy's not selling any smith ore smith ore is used for mules mules can run out if you don't have a mule to put out on your plot then you can't do anything and produce anything um, for you know for for another plot of land and so all those dynamics come into play guys and there's so many elements to the strategy in this game that it um, you can't explain it sort of quickly <laughs> but but uh, look we'll, we'll touch on some of the nuances more as we go forward 
So food at the moment, uh, it said I had one extra surplus. Now food is used for, for time. In fact, what am I doing here? I'm, I'm, I'm talking and trying to play at the same time. So this guy here is racing up to try and buy a food because they don't have any and it's used for time. So what that means is that the next turn that you have, you, your time bar is reflective of how many uh, food that you have up to the critical level. So you need it's three or four uh, at the start here um, to have the maximum time so you can go out and do stuff so no food is really bad because it means that you literally can just have to go straight into the pub and you lose your turn energy is um, really really important and it's terrible when you get a fire in the store like we just had uh, on on turn one because there's no extra energy and energy you need one energy unit for each of your your blocks of land um, that have a, a mule working mule on it except for energy plots which uh, logically don't need energy to create energy otherwise you would get anywhere <laughs> and so right on the outset we can see that uh, I you know picked up a few extra bit of value there got 1800 now is my total um, and we've got an overall comment here saying the colony is short of energy. So for my next turn round, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just concentrate. Actually, I'm going to get a piece of land just out in the middle here, even though I don't know where all the crystal plots are. And the reason for that is um, I want to try and build up around it. And the computer, you can see, is starting to create... Um, blocks around the other blocks it's already chosen because you get economies of scale from doing it that way and we want to do that you get more production uh, so you know the best thing I should have gone down next to my food plot right but if I'm in the middle there I can start building around it and sort of block out the computer a bit this is a uh, land auction that happens um, and these guys are going up to racing for it. I'm not going to do it on this round because I've only got $700 in cash and I need to buy stuff and, and get other mules working. Uh, and also we've got a shortage of energy so I can't really do much with that land anyway. And also I don't want to push the, the, the price up. See we have another land for sale now and the starting price is going to be higher now because they just pushed it up pretty high on that last one. Um, so it's 476 so it went up as a starting point. That's actually still a pretty good price, but look, I'll let, I'll let it go for this other guy for the moment, which means that the next land auction price will be even cheaper. And if you can sort of snaffle some money away from them and get your money up higher pretty quickly, then you can go for those land auctions and get them all relatively cheap. But <laughs> that strategy, guys, is actually really, really sort of quite difficult to pull off. Alright, so there's some checks for Chris. I should really be watching those now. Um, and this, that person just put out some Smith ore. And we go to the pink person. There's a medium Christite here, which means there'll be a high Christite next to it. There it is. Um, it could have been on the river, and you can't mine in the river. So it's good that it's on the left. Uh, and they don't really need to check where the low is from that high, or there could be another high next to it. Um, there's typically three well typically there is always three high plots and then around those high plots there's mediums and then around the mediums there's low um, and that's what we want to be looking for uh, and getting those blocks so yeah that one on the left was high medium so my one will be low out to the left a crystal one uh, just checking these ones as we go so yeah I'm not gonna put crystal out because I am low in energy and there was none in the store, so it's a bit of a problem actually, the starting this game. We're low on mules too, because the guy didn't sell his, his mules. And uh, take that mule out and stick it on the land. I might go for a bit of a wampus hunt. You'll see that there's a little flashing dot that comes up on some of these mountains. And when you see that, you just try and get down there when it flashes. Oh, this one's moving around like crazy. Sometimes I don't move around this far. Oh, shit, I'm running out of time. Well, it's a... F hey! Oh, you want to get that extra free cash there, guys, at the end. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll have to catch a Wampus another another time. Just gives you an extra uh, hundred or so dollars. The amount goes up as the game progresses. We have a food output up, energy reduce, um, a random event. 
and um, that's really really bad for us guys because now we've got even lower energy um, particularly on that strip so luckily for, for us we've actually got three and the others are still really low so this isn't a good start to the game at all and this guy's got 10 units of smith ore that he can sell for 57 which is a, a reasonably good price it normally sits around sort of 50 odd uh, the computers are also a little bit predictable too in terms of what they will do in certain circumstances and typically they like to have their money if they're below a thousand or about 900 they like to be between 900 and a thousand so they'll sell stuff off to get there and have that sort of cash and I guess you know when you have that cash then you can buy land um, which might be part of the AI programming originally so with food look that's a massive uh, amount the store will buy food at at 104 I've got three extra, I don't need to hold any additional food. Uh, it's always a bit of a risk if you if there's not enough and you can't buy some from the store next time round then you can run out of time and that's not good if you want to serve a whole lot of plots. So um, I'm going to sell mine and I just got in front of those other computer guys to sell it at a higher price. And of course if you're playing this with humans guys the trading and stuff is so much so much better because you know you're jumping up and down and second guessing each other and uh, it's a huge amount of fun with four human players uh, that's really where this game shines in terms of strategy but look you can you still have um, an awesome time with the computers because you get to learn how they how they play to a degree uh, and that makes it a lot of fun so right now look at this I've got just one extra energy there's no store units and what I might do is typically you don't really want to sell energy guys, you want to keep it as much as possible. Uh, and if you're trying to get a, a score and become the, the winner of the game if you like, um, you starve the other energy, uh, the other um, players for energy because then they can't produce that, you know, uh, that block. He's not going to pay any more than that, but I'm going to get that 142 just to pick my cash up a bit. Uh, and as you can see I've, we've moved up a little bit on the ranking so we're in our third place which again as we go higher you get better things and sorry you get worse things happen to you in some of the random events not the big random events but the individual random events and so sometimes it's good to sort of hang back down at the bottom and get up to the, uh, to the top right at the end but like Daytona strategy guys Daytona you know, say right hang back to the final lap and then get in the front uh, due to the rubber banding uh, well this is not rubber banding it's just uh, it treats people up the top not as well so the colony has a shortage of energy still so we know that um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and see if I can lock out yeah I'm going to lock this other guy out there because we know that plot was a high um, and hopefully I can build build around that and get those economies now this is this block is a good block for me because it's right next to me and I don't know how much the money the green guy's got I think he's got more where was he in the ladder I can't remember it's basically if I go forward yeah that red guy I think I was underneath me um, on the ladder and so even though we started at the same time to get this high this this land they've got in front of me but they pipped out here at 752 which is quite expensive but we are on <laughs> auction number three guys and so it's worthwhile getting more land and the more land you have the more you can produce the more money you can make higher score you can get so um, and you'll see actually in the store there's a place where you can actually mark a block um, that's interesting low crystal down there you can mark a block for sale and sell it as an, op as an option which again is really interesting when you're playing against other human players um and uh but we you know I, I never do that I never never sell land because you get so much money off the production off the back of it so what do we have going on yeah a lot of energy going on people are cr creating that and I think we're going to do the same guys problem with energy see I've got something good do 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 um because being second from the bottom we've got charity from your your home world took pity on you 
and said 75 bucks. Yeah, so the, the, the challenge with energy rather, and uh, not the problem with it, but if you've got a block with mountains on it, like I've got on the left there, uh, energy won't produce as much as it will out in the non-mountainous blocks. And also you can put in, uh, energy on the river and it works just as well there as well. Um, so what we're going to do is I think um, really should put a crystallite out on the left and an energy, I mean that's a high crystallite up the top is really where we want it, but we can do that after. Just for this round I'm just going to try and get two mules out and uh, get that energy out and then we can swap, you can swap mules around later guys and you'll see me do that. Plenty of time to do all these uh, different elements and you've got to be really careful when you place your mule on your block if you don't place it exactly right the mule will actually just run off the screen <laughs> and it just wastes time and money um, we're already running out of time just getting the second one out there you go make sure that's on I'm not going to get to the pub that's a bummer so I won't get any extra um, money at the end now you can see for the blocks that have uh, the mules that have already gone out previously um, like my energy block you can see it's got three little dots underneath so that is the normal potential for units to be produced and it can go up and down depending on different events and stuff um, and the situation we have now is after production, so sometimes you get an event before production, and sometimes you get an event after, and this is an after event one for this pest attack, and the red person has lost all their food, uh, which is pretty crap for them. And they would have been up the top on the scale, which is why they got the bad thing happen. So again, good to sort of hang low, as I said earlier. Our production did okay, you can see our crystite did nothing, uh, that's because I had a shortage of energy, so the blood didn't do anything anyway, um, so you gotta, you got to watch that guys, you got to always have good energy. Alright, so now we are on Smithor, and 56 is a reasonable amount of computer, yep, will sell and especially to get up to that 900 level, that green guy, oh he'll go, he sh I was going to say, he'll probably just go the whole lot because um, uh, 56 is just a little bit higher than the 52, anywhere above sort of 52, 53 I think they generally sort of sell, generally. Um, food is very high, again this is normally pretty pretty low around the sort of 20 odd when we've got enough food so good prices to sell these guys all need three each so there's nine that they need in total I have one extra for my production store has seven so there's two short so what I think I'm going to do is I'll just hang up the top here and let them buy all that food out and it depends if the, uh, the last guy who doesn't get the two that they need if they'll continue up and just a little, still gumming up see the time going down on the right hand side guys so I've got to time this correctly to jump down just before the time runs out and they've stopped and when they stop moving or anyone when everyone stops moving the time actually races down faster so uh, again all those little nuances in the game that you have to really um, take attention of and again energy price is really high so the pink guy here has got eight uh, spare and the other one only needs five so this guy's likely going to come down to sell uh, and it's got more than me. 86 is a pretty good price and I actually need some money I've only got 3306 so I'm actually going to come down and try and just pip the guy and I will sell to critical I might just get some more energy the next time around um, you can see now they just bought what they needed and now the other guys had to sell lower at 86 but 86 is still a really good price for energy <laughs> So yeah, this is an interesting game, uh, again every game is 
radically different and so all the strategies and stuff you have to sort of change up depending on what's going on but yeah we still have a shortage of energy so let's just pump oh shortage of food all right so food food is low as well so <laughs> the staples guys so let's oh, i really want that block i don't want the one with the mountains it's not good for food and energy and yeah, we get that one there i tell you what's really hard to to get the block of land once that thing flies off the screen and comes back to the left so hard to judge and I was lucky to pick that one up there but it comes a bit of a knack it's harder it's just less blocks it's so quick flashing between them all now the land for sale and this is way out over there but it would be reasonable was a um, uh, would be reasonable as an energy piece of land but look I've only got 636 guys everyone else has got low cash it's going to be sold for 692 but the next one yeah it's going to come down again this is good for the red or pink guys to to buy that and get some economies of scale across the two and i'm not going to buy it for 632 guys so i have no money <laughs> four, four bucks and i won't be able to do anything so that's not useful i'll try and pick up some more land later but we'll need to get some money in uh, and we'll focus on just the food and energy at the moment it's just a bit of a bummer about that Christite block being on the mountains because it's not good really good for food or energy you might get one unit but that's not great so the question here is do I put a food plot out or an energy now it seems like I sold down to critical level um, I think I'm actually better off putting out an energy and uh, need to bolster up the supply guys I and mean, get some more units in the store and get that price to come down and get onto the crystite mining <laughs> where all the big money is but uh see if i can grab this wampus up here there we go there's a mountain wampus so we get an easy 200 dollars from uh, catching that you only get one wampus per turn so no need to wait any longer and the faster you get in the pub the slightly more money you'll get as well not hugely different there but apparently that's how that algorithm works all right so with these guys are transferring i'll put a smith ore out there on the left that's really bizarre because smith ore you get most smith ore where you've got mountains and putting it out there on its own it's not great although you've got three in total and so if you have three of anything regardless of where it is then you also get an extra production uh, level so that in combination with them being next to each other you'll get an extra um, that helps your overall production oh medium crystal down the bottom there I wonder where the high is it's left right or above it um, our blocks are going to be reasonably okay if I keep building my blocks up at the top there I might try and block that uh, pink guy out from getting that block up the top there Ah, oh, beauty. Here we get a pirate ship. And so the pirate ship comes along, and the tournament level of the game, which we're on, it takes all your crystite. And luckily, it's sort of early in the game. I've only got two crystite. It's going to take those. Um, and yeah, it's a real, it's real, really bad when you get pirates come later on, and you've got all crystite out, and it takes all your crystite. You're holding crystite because you didn't sell it on the previous turn. You've stocked up. Uh, because the price was low and then the pirate ship comes along guys and just takes it all can really devastate your score so anyway I'm not I'm not too fussed about that you can get up to I think up to three pirate ships in one go which would be a terrible game typically it's one or two um, so let, let's see if we don't get any more we might be okay get some more money all right now these guys have produced a ton of smith or they should oh they're not going to sell probably oh yeah no they are because they've got no cash um they wouldn't normally at 43 but they're going to sell and i think any of them that get up to around 900 will then stop if they've got enough to get there let's see if i'm right oh well, there's right up to 900 there anyway so <laughs> they're all around that but yeah i would suspect that they would get to that and then they would actually back off so that's good that means there's smith or going into the store which means mules will be produced which means mule prices will be lower otherwise mule prices keep going up guys and then it's really difficult even just to buy one mule and outfit it 
because you've got to pay for the food, energy, smith or christite costs on top of your mule and that's $25, $50, $75 or for christite $100, I think that's right and so it can be, can be expensive Alright, food, I wasn't taking too much notice but I had the minimum so I don't need to buy any these guys are just trying to sell to the green guy for big but they're, in a, <laughs> they're racing down now they just realize it's not going to come up any faster I love watching the computer algorithms and stuff especially from back in the day guys it's very you know, simple in a way but they still they still move around pretty well um, they're a little bit dumb <laughs> but but it's still uh, it's still good fun so here we go here's the energy lots of great energy there 15 over the top and yeah if I was really trying to stick it to them I wouldn't give them any um, you know so I can buy a lot of the land but they got a bit of money now anyway and store's only got four units so here's a good opportunity actually to make them pay and get a bit of wealth transfer <laughs> from them to me and we'll see how far they go though because they are quite low on cash themselves but they will all want to have energy. Ah, oh, she's not going very high at all. Hmm. Might just get... Yeah, just get a couple, get me up to a grand just to help me with a land auction. If one comes up. So guys, we are at the front. And as I said, that's not good in terms of potential bad things happening. But it does mean that we are getting more points. So you've got to start moving up the ranks at some point. So we are off and I'm going to try and get that block. No, he got it, there you go. So let's try to crowd me out there. But I uh, got the other mountain block, which is a bit of a pain again. Um, although we have a few clear blocks now, so that's okay. So we've got plenty of energy now, so we really can actually start getting into a bit of crystallite production. Uh, so I'm going to swap a couple of these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go get mules at $80, so that's good. Um, I'm going to get a crystite Chris mule, yep, 100 for that. I'm going to take that one and re-outfit it, and that way you don't have to go and get a whole new mule guys, you just sort of swap them around and re-outfit them as you need to. I won't be able to do any more this turn. Oh, whoops. Stuff that out. I better not be short by about 80 bucks from getting a world record high score, guys. Because it will be that moment right there. Um... Looks like the pink guy's starting to get into crystal as well, and they don't, they don't all do it. So and, and it can be just random. Sometimes they don't get into it at all. Sometimes you get multiple get into crystal. Um, the crystal prices can be all over the place. Uh, again, oh, there's a high crystal down the bottom, and the computers aren't actually down there. So I might actually try and snaffle that block next, get close to mine, and try and join up in the middle. Uh, especially because that green guy might still continue on the right hand side even though they've got that random plot on the left so anyway this guy got something good he got a couple hundred bucks putting out some energy he's going into smith ore got three productions there the bottom right one of that smith ore has got three mountains so maximum of oh, a normal production of four. We have sunspot activities. <laughs> energy output has increased. That's good for the people that uh, were short of energy. Interesting enough, they didn't put out, they've only got one each, haven't they? So, but they'll get quite a few here, so that's good for them and good for the whole colony. Here, my energy there's raced up ahead. Got a few crystites going on. Only got two food though. Uh, so I'm going to be short there and there was, look, there was only a one lot of production so I think there was some sold into the store so we might be lucky there but we do need food so I can continue uh, changing up my blocks as we go forward now the smith or at 50 green guy's going to sell the pink guy should sell no he's not there you go so he's sitting at a thousand and 50 is that right on that limit of yeah 
Yeah, getting dropped off at 969. You can sort of see how they work, guys. That's okay. We'll keep the stock, the store stocked with Smith Ore, keep the meal prices down, have mules to actually to go. If you run out of Smith Ore, then you can actually just come, you run out, run out of mules. And actually, the person who's coming last actually goes first when there's less than, I think, seven mules in the store, so that you've got a chance to actually put something out, uh, which means the person who's winning at that, that time may not get a meal to put out at all. So, yeah. 104 for Christite, guys, is pretty good. Uh, Christite will be a random amount from, I think, 48 through to 148. I think is the, the range, so 104 is pretty good. Um, and that helps us just boost up our, our cash and allows us to hopefully buy some land uh, if a land auction comes up. Righty -o, so look at that. We need two, and the other guys need eight, so there needs to be ten needs to come from somewhere. The pink guy has two of those, and the store only has five units. So I've got to try and snaffle the two, but because I am leading, I won't get them. And sometimes one guy might just buy out the whole lot. Okay, the only chance I've got is to get in front of this. Ah, oh, damn it. Pink guy's come down. That's uh, it's down at critical levels. It's not going to sell anymore. So that's a bummer guys, we are going to be short of food. Um, with only two units, I may only just have enough time to get one mule out on the next go. Alright, well everyone's got enough energy. I've got a couple of surplus there, I've got 18 extra, store 42, I've got enough money to cover any land purchases. Um, normally I just go down to buy, if there's no one, um, no one selling, then the auction just goes to the next one, but it looks like the red guy's sitting there. Might sell, because, um, I think it was that critical level anyway, wasn't it? We must have one, one extra. So, let's see, <laughs> where, where are we? Where are we guys? We're up to 6,077, seven. we're a little way, long way away from the 50, oh, over 50,000 score, right? Colony's at 23, um, and we still have a shortage of food, which we know about. Alright, let me see if I can try and get that block down the bottom here, I have to concentrate to get it, it just zooms past here, there we go, that's that high crystite one. Um, and this would be a nice actual block to get just next to my food block. It should be a good one to put another food out right now, actually. Give me some economies of scale as well. Let's see if I can snaffle this. Everyone's keen because it's only 300. Oh, look at that. Somehow I got in front, which is interesting. Because I'm first, I wouldn't have normally got that, I would have thought. Oh, come on, man. There's always one guy that bits you up, eh? It's like when you're on eBay. It's just one other person. Oh, come on, man. I don't want to pay way up here. <sighs> wow. I mean, you know, the potential for the, the block is that it can earn a lot. Oh, jeez, and now we got another one. So we're not going to be able to afford this. And luckily, it's right up the very top, just away from my other one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, <laughs> you can have that one at 980. Then the price might come down a little because there's only one one buyer for the next time around. <laughs> wow. Oh no! No! That would have been a prime block as well. But I don't think anyone's got enough money now. They haven't. Ah, but I don't either. Oh, the red guy could, but you'd have nothing left. So anyway, that's good for the next land auction, guys, because it will bring the price down. Uh, so that's a bit of a bonus. Now, unfortunately, because I've got food shortages, I'm not going to be able to put something out on both blocks, which is a real shame and a real waste. But I'm going to try and get one food out down the bottom before the time runs out. Let's see if we can do it. Oh yeah, I've got a reasonable amount of time, actually. But it won't be able to do two. <coughs> get this one out, though. Time for a quick 
Womp Wampus? No, I don't see any. <laughs> Into the pub. <clears throat> Alright, what's going on here? Yeah, this guy's right on the crystal, it's all over me. Kinda have to be careful. The more crystal plops that guy gets, the uh, faster he can get in the lead in front of me. Typically, typically, not always works that way. Wow, everyone's getting into Christite, guys. Oh, well, there's a high over to the right there, too. So we know where the three highs are now, and the Christite is concentrated around those those three. What you can get, guys, is a meteorite strike, and when a meteorite strike comes down, one of the special events, it can actually uh, leave a four-dot um, Christite deposit with a four potential rather than just the three of the highs. So that's awesome when that happens. Had a meal go crazy there for the, the pink person, so that's not good for them. Um, especially on food, since we had a shortage. Uh, picked up the extra three on my food on the right at the bottom there, guys, so that's pretty good. Again, that Christite one on the left, it didn't produce. Uh, again, it's, a, it's an actual... It's not even a low crystalite block that, and I don't have crystalite next to it, so that's probably why it's not producing. So I think I've got plenty of energy. So I have to sort that out, because that's, uh, that's not working very well. And I didn't look where I was going to put my next block <laughs> for the next turn around. I think about that. That's something you have to be really conscious of. If you, um, you suddenly get into the land selection, you think, oh, crap, which one am I going to get? It's always good to think about it prior. Alright, so we are midway and these guys are starting to sell up and move their scores up into a fairly decent amount. The green guy now, 2,242 guys. Oh, Chris died at 92. I think I am going to hold at that. Um, I've got 511 though. Yeah, no, I'm going to sell. It's not a great price, but I need the cash. Just in case another one of those land auctions come up. I can't be short at this point. Especially now the green guy's got so much money. Yeah, you can see they just pipped themselves up around the 900 <laughs> mark again. Uh, below 100, so they're not selling them all. Look at that, 117 for food. Now it says spoilage, if you have too much uh, over the surplus then you can actually lose a few, up to three I think, uh, on spoilage. So that happens for food and energy. Um, Smithor and Christide, if you have over 50 units you've held on to from the previous turn, you'll, you'll lose all of them above 50 to spoilage. Another interesting dynamic, you can see the store down there at 117, as soon as these guys race up the top, the store disappears. So if I sell one, see the guys coming down the screen here, right, so he's going to stay there, I'm going to, I've definitely got extra now, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to think, do I have my food, don't sell again. Um, I couldn't sell to the store, even if I had extra now, because it disappeared off the screen. So again, another, another little subtle game dynamic you've got to be wary of. Sometimes you get greedy and set up the top, and then people, the human players, move up, lose the store off, and then they come back down again. You can't sell your stuff. It's like all those sorts of strange. Look at this. Wow. So if these guys, if I don't give them any energy, they won't produce anything, which is terrible for the colony. Um, but good for me if I want to win the game. Uh, but I'm trying to get a decent score, and so again, a little bit of wealth transfer here would go a long way, and and also it puts me in a good position for buying land. So especially this green guy, so he's bailing out. I'm just going to try and catch him before he goes right off the bottom there, and. Wow, this guy's have nearly pulled all my energy anyway. I haven't enough time to get down to him. No, he's gone, he's gone underneath the buy, I just missed it. But that's okay, I actually sold quite a lot of energy there and got a really, really good price. Helps those other guys out, guys, they doing the right thing. Sharing the love, sharing the energy. So we're up to 10,000 now on status number 6. 
colonies at 32. Alright, now I need to get that green guy start a block out though, so at least I've got that connecting block. That allows me to get better economies. Now I've got enough time now. Um, I think I'm just going to keep those food ones for the moment and sort out these blocks on the left. Now I did sell a number of energy, but I'm only going to be able to get two mules out anyway. So what I might do is just shift these energy ones down to the bottom two and replace uh, those ones there with crystite. Then we've got all the crystite together and that should yield us more, even though the block down the middle here is a high crystite. Um, but hopefully it will help this one on the on the far left and we can change the other ones out the next next go so it's always just sort of working out you know ultimately I, I would put crystite straight out on all the highs all the time but just the way that these blocks have landed I'm just gonna do it this way to be quick here I can't remember if the human species gets less time, it sure seems like it. I'm not, I'm not going to be half pressed making this. Just got there. And going diagonal you get uh, faster speed. <laughs> so, try to get back to the store, try doing it in diagonal motions. Yeah, I know the beginner species you get a, you get a little bit more time and that actually really helps. You can get like almost three plots done as well as that 600 bonus. So there is that major benefit. Uh, and so that could still be really useful for chasing a really top score, guys. Is to choose that beginner species. And the Twin Galaxies rules, they actually say you can choose anyone that you want. That you want. So you could choose the beginner species. Um, but as I said, you get hit hard at the start. Uh, with bad stuff because you're leading for, for so long potentially you could be leading all the way through the entire game so yeah it, it all depends all right green guy's putting out energy and is still concentrated on smith ore oh dear we don't have an event before production so could be another pirate ship that might be good given we've just uh started walking out more oh, just a pest attack it's on one of my food plots that's cool I've got the other one contingency guys seriously <laughs> uh, yes, love this game because it's so different when I, where was my next plot going to be one two three if I hold down I want to flick miss that and try and get it after there it gets really hard guys when you're trying to get the next one it's going to go flash 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 and then one two three four five six blocks after that and if you don't press the button you can miss out you miss out on a free block of land you press too early you get the wrong one it's out in the middle of nowhere not next to your other block um block so all right smith or at 57 and they're not selling Do they not? Oh, because some of them didn't make anything, did they? Because the lack of it uh, was a lack of energy. I didn't. Oh, I didn't look at their production. I should have taken note. All right, so we got a few more. These guys are actually starting to outproduce me here on Christite. Well, they were previously as well. Uh, they're really going to start racking in some cash now, which make the land higher to per to buy. But we're actually running out of available land anyway. In two goes, all the free land will go. Because they'll just run out of blocks. Okay, now we're going to be picking up the score. <laughs> the overall colony score is going to be much higher at the end of this round. Uh, and we've all got a reasonable amount of cash. Oh, look at that. 190. Shame we had that pest attack. Would have three units at that price. Look at that. So one extra, those guys need six, we can sit up the top guys. Show me the money! <sighs> I'll let them come up and I'll sell that one unit for a crazy price. They've got a lot of money too, so they're likely to just race, race up. 
which is quite funny really because sometimes the computer guys really don't need this extra one food with just the one less food they could do what they need to do I wonder if this red guy's going to come down yeah there we go jump me oh he's still going though and we get a high price wow watching the time watching the time being careful here Okay, stop. 3.52 was it? That's a good price. <laughs> One unit of food. Alright, energy. I think energy all did, did pretty well. And it's still pretty high in price there. And it'd be interesting to see if the red guy comes down. I'm actually, I'm actually going to hold my 5, even though 88 is actually a really good price, guys. But I'm going to hold it. And um, I'm going to see what that red guy does. I think he's going to sell. Yeah, he's a little bit reluctant, but he's coming down. He's got plenty of excess. got plenty of money. But yeah, okay, they're not selling at all. So also being astute, being the right thing. Keep, keep some energy aside. And here we go. Still in the lead, up to 12,000 now. The other guy's getting closer though. Still got a shortage of food. Luckily we still got those two blocks out, so that's good. All right, so let's see if we can get... All right, which one I'm gonna get here now? Ah. No, 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 no. I was too quick. I was trying to, I was trying to get that block with the mountains. Ah, damn, and then we've got this. One, two, three, we've got four left after, I've got five left after this. And that's the other thing, I'll miss out on one on one of the rounds um, of free land. Oh crap. <laughs> These guys are going to push this up so high because they've got heaps of cash. Ah, damn. I wonder how high they'll go. Is it next to the other one? No, I think it's next to the green guy. He might jump down, watch. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So sometimes they tooth out as well, which is it's cool when you do that when, when you're playing with other humans. <laughs> um, you 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 bit up and then right at the very end you just jump down and you leave them stranded with it, or you know if you feel like they're taking for advantage. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four left after this, so everyone will get a block. Oh, I just was laid off, laid off the start. Um, I'm going to try and snaffle this as well, even if I push just to put the food block out there. Oh, it's going for a lot of money though. And this is dead money, because this money just goes back to the game. Oh man, that's way too high. Yeah, okay. Thought he might do that, actually. There you go, so he was bidding me up. But I'm okay, I'm okay with that. I should be able to get enough production. So we've got a lot of blocks of land, and unfortunately we will run out a bit of time. Um, and the one on the other side of the planet. <laughs> so I think what we'll do... It's a shame... Mm, not because it's just too far away. Um, wow, and that bottom left one's got the mountain. That's a real bummer. Uh, so I could put a new mule out on the right, but going back and getting another one and doing a swap over on the left, it's just going to be too difficult. Move the food out there though. Oh no, we want that food next to the other food actually. And if we get three food actually we'll get even more while well, the food price is still up a bit. Ah oh, boy guys, I'm not quite sure which way I should go. We really need to just keep building up the crystite. Um 
I don't want to I don't want to lose a block of energy though just for the sake I think I'm just gonna this is a bit crap but where's that other we've got that other high crystite there medium low so those bottom two actually have no crystite so I'd only be getting the bonuses of them being next to each other and having more than three um, to produce anything over there I really need those two energy over there guys <laughs> And I don't want to swap them around after, so oh, this is a real problem. Uh, do we forego? No, I don't want to forego an energy either. I really want to move those energies out. Uh, okay, all right, this is really that doesn't help. This is really, really hard. I'm just going to go for a Wampus, and we're going to have to do that next time around. That's a real shame. Oops. Over the other side there, no Wampus hunting. <laughs> yeah, I swear the, the human gets slightly less time, which makes it difficult. So it might be the best strategy, really, overall, is to have just a normal player, not have the beginner species, but a normal player. And a normal player, I think, you have just that little bit of extra time. Uh, or the flapper when you've got heaps of time. You don't always need it, that's the thing. Just depends how the game pans out. Alright. Food on the river. Food shortages. Okay, pretty good actually, everyone except for me. Oh no, the pink guy's got one now. Oh, meteor strike! Oh, guys, oh no! That's prime! It destroys the, what's on the block, but that guy's gonna really reap in the crystite and could tip me. Um, the only benefit I have is slightly more land, but I always love getting the crystite deposits, guys, uh, from a, a meteorite. But not this time. But we did fairly good production. So pretty happy about that. Wow. So yeah, with that lack of time it's um pretty hard to get those outward blocks with anything decent and move stuff around. Alright, so the green guy Sell or not, probably won't. Yeah, because it's sitting above that thousand. Sitting on fifty. We're all good there, guys. Uh, especially with four months out, the meal prices should be stable. Crystite, one hundred and twenty is pretty good. This is very good. And even though I got the most production this time, these other guys are going to jump ahead. Unless, of course, I starve them of energy if they don't have any. Let's go sell. All prosper. When you're trading, um, see how it speeds up. So if I just sit on a line, then it just goes at this speed and takes forever. So if I just hold the joystick down, and it will slowly speed up and just makes it faster. <laughs> Alright, so, a little bit behind on the money side of things, so, we'll see where we are. 235 on food, guys, though, and i still got those two food plots. Five extra, the other guys need two, they'll be go one back potentially to the store at 235, I should sell my additional four. Just, oh, that uh, pink guy's really going to get in front of me. He'll definitely want to sell at this price. He's going to wait, get, getting greedy. I'm going to hang up here and try and get in between these guys. Just got there. Ah, jumped me. <laughs> uh, as I said, 
said, it's just so much fun, the, the auctions when you're playing against human players can make, make the game really hard. So you can actually sell a below critical and sell everything down to zero. Um, sometimes there are times where you might want to do that, uh, especially near the very end, but most of the time you won't. Um, energy, okay, we've got three above, there's four short, red guy's got plenty. We need the extra energy since we're short. Store only has one unit as well, so absolutely we're going to keep our energy and we need to keep our energy um, bots out. Otherwise, we'll be short, guys, for the final months. <sighs> You're still here. <laughs> You're still here watching, guys. I'll tell you what, it's a relatively long game, eh? I mean, generally a little over an hour for a game, and you know you really can't predict how it's going to turn out. So it's sixteen thousand. Colony's fifty-four thousand guys. Going to get over a hundred for an awesome, awesome game. And as I said, my individual money. To get up over 30,000 to be a really good game, but I've got to get right up to like 58 if I'm ever going to get a world record at least against the Commodore listing that's currently there. All right, okay, so now we just I just hold down my button because there's only four blocks left, so I don't want to miss out. So I just held it down and get any, you just got to go for any random block. No new blocks for sale. Sometimes when you're winning. You know, at the lead, you can lose a block at the start of your turn. That's the shocking thing. Sometimes, you're right at the bottom of the of the stack, you could gain a plot, which is awesome. Um, so luckily, you haven't lost a plot. Now I've got three blocks, guys, doing nothing. That's not good. Um, energy was getting a little low there. I might have to just sacrifice my time and get an energy out on the right hand side, and then worry about the left hand side. That crystallite one up the top there, the crystallite down the bottom actually, and that energy block, I really should change that over, because that's a high there, isn't it? I uh, wish I could get two out. I can't sort I can't do that again, guys, so I'm just going to have to do that one down there, swap it and put it across. We'll do that. Could get a little low on energy on the next round, that's the only thing, but that might be a time to then swap that food block plot out. We'll get these over here. At least that's sort of what this appropriate for this game, you know, wampuses. Alright, pub, in the pub. Second guy got something bad. Flying cat bugs ate the roof off your house. Repairs cost 300 buckaroonies. Yeah, crystal, crystal, crystal. This red guy's definitely going to put a crystal out. Got something good. Wandering space traveler repaid your hospitality by leaving. Two bars of Smith ore. Sometimes you can get uh, food and energy from one of these events, which is useful if you've got a shortage of food. And there we go, he put the crystite out on the block where the meteorite struck the bugger. <laughs> and what's this guy going to do? Yep, crystite as well, put a food out. I might. Two food might still be good. Great energy up, so that's bonus. Seems we've only got two energy out, and we really need that energy now. So that's actually really good. Lots of production. Still two blocks, not doing anything. Not good. Energy. 
completely full. My uh, Christite too got maximum of eight up the top there. In fact, got more than the uh, when the meteorite struck. Oh, they got a good one on the other side of them. So interesting. All right, what is the price of Christite going to be? Please be high. Please be high. The last thing we want is like a pirate, another pirate ship, guys, to come. Yeah, so the interesting thing, so these guys actually got heaps of cash, so they're buying at 43. The other guy's selling, because he wants up to 900. There you go, off he goes. And these guys are, are buyers, because they know that Smith or should get up above 50. I mean, we're only talking, you know, 7 bucks to get to 50, so it's not like they're going to make a huge amount. Oh, no. Guys, Chris Light's 52. Oh, no. Got 34, so we're not over 50, so we won't lose any in spoilage, so we don't have to sell any. Oh. Yeah, these guys are trying to set, uh, buy at 52 because it's so cheap, but we're at a real risk. Yeah. We're at a real risk of a pirate ship. Fingers crossed, guys, we don't get a pirate ship. That's going to be tragic. Oh boy. Okay, food. I think we'll quickly cash in on those four. We will have to change that food plot, but I've got two other blocks to worry about, so we'll keep cashing in. And I might be able to. Yeah, this guy's racing down. Yeah. Get the first trade because he's lower than me. A little bit under on the dollar amounts, close though. On our total money with the pink guy. Alright, energy's like really cheap now, which is great. Um, because we want energy to be cheap at this stage of the game. So we're going to start swapping out some of these if we can. So again, I'm going to stockpile my energy. Keep it at the 9. I don't care, everyone else has got excess, so... There's six in the in the store, unless of course you get a store fire, but so yeah, these guys can go ahead and knock themselves out and get tight on energy. I'm not going to do that, and uh, that should set us up since we're getting into the last three months. Colony's at 62,000, not too bad, but yeah guys, how do you get from 18 all the way up to 50 odd, like for a world record? Oh boy, alright, I mean, we, we are going to get more in these final rounds, oh no, got some bad guys, what is it? Didn't lose a block at least. Uh, solar collectors, on your energy mules, are dirty. Cleaning costs you 75 each. Well, that's not too bad. <laughs> 150 bucks. Not too bad at this stage of the game. All right, guys. Can I get? Because really, I want to get uh, crystal out to both of these ones. Even though that block in the bottom left is a bit rando. Um, we might as well get one out there. There's no point putting Smith or anything out there at this stage of the game. up and over into the middle. Just a little trick there to get into the middle of the store quickly guys. And hopefully I've got enough time here. Go to the diagonal. Into the thing. Did we get a meal on the way? No. I thought there was one going to be at that mountain pass. Bit of a shame not to get in the pub because it would have been probably about 200 at this stage of the game. But Money starts going up. Big guys all in on Christite. What am I going to do next time? I 
think food has come back down. May we're on ten, I'll be on eleven. Maybe put out an energy still for swapping those last ones to Christite, but then I won't have enough time to do those ones over the far right. So might swap this one out for Christite next. The food. Ah, it depends how much energy. Oh boy, guys, we didn't have a pre-event, which means an after-event. It can be a pirate ship. Don't be a pirate ship. Don't be a pirate ship. I've got all that. I've got all that stuff saved up for my last. And it's a huge production, guys. It's a huge production. Oh, the best back. Yes. I mean, it's on my block, but. Oh, guys, it's a killing. It's a killing for all of us, actually. It's good, good for the overarching uh, uh, economy. Wow, colony, I should say. All right, well, this guy's over fifty, so he's going to have to sell at least the twenty-five excess there. Otherwise, they'll be spoiled. Uh, but it's 57 anyway, so he'll probably just go sell the lot, to be honest. Let's see if he does, he's going to really rake it in in terms of money. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. On the Smith Law. It's such a it's such a great game, guys. If you're still with me, if you're still with me, you got to dust this off if you're an Atari person and get playing it. If you're not an Atari person, just go get it anyway. <laughs> 104, guys. So the price uh, it's a little unfortunate. It could have, you know, if it came back at like 140, it would have been awesome. You've got 85. You've got to be real careful here. You don't get too eager <laughs> before the time runs out, and you end up putting yourself down as a buyer. Done that before. Now you gotta wait for that time over before you get, get you come down. It's a subtle little element to the gameplay too, because if you want to come down and trade and be the first person to trade with someone else, if you get just too eager, you come down as a buyer. Okay, so we we'll start racking up some points here, everyone. So yeah, this is really gonna boost the colony on month ten. And it's really going to boost the scores. So let's see where this takes us. Can't see myself getting anywhere near the 50,000, but uh, that's not a bad result. Not bad at all. Alright, so food. Lost a couple of food, didn't we? But we've sh oh, we're one short actually. Need five at the stage of the game. Ha. Huh, okay. It's only five available from that guy. There's 13 in the store. That's okay. So we're all gonna get one. These guys won't buy excess. Did we get one cheap. No. You can do that strategy, buy out the store, prevent other people from getting food and changing their blocks. So many devious things you can do with this game, uh, depending on how it's going. This, this game's been relatively straightforward, like, hasn't been anything really, really uh, bizarre happen in it. And sometimes, sometimes there is. We had a fire in the store though, didn't we, right off the bat, uh, which made it difficult to start, but. Alright, so there's plenty excess energy. The store only has three. These guys need plenty. In fact, they need more than that. I'm not going to be selling anything 
additional. I'm going to keep mine. And now, since we're on 10, that's actually that's good because now I can think about changing that food plot out actually to another energy. Then I'll have three energies, get the economies of scale benefit, and um, that's probably my best bet before the final month, guys. Because, uh, yeah, your goods value is because you have a goods value that you, you saw in the mix. And that goods value is um, the final price of everything in an auction set, plus, you know, for the units of those things that you have, that gives you the total goods value. Um, I think it's that, is it that times, it might be that goods value times four, is it? I think it is. Can't recall now. But anyway, guys, look, we're at 25,000. Again, way off the old 50. Wow, how get there? Colony's a really good day, 84,000. So we might get up there. If we can get a colony over 100,000, uh, since I started on expert, I think that's exactly what the manual said, guys. Start on expert, get over 100,000, we want to hear from you. <laughs> so if we could do that, I'd be happy. Uh, that'd be a good result from this game. All right, so we are... And given that this is the second to last, whew, do I risk it? And because energy is short, I could put another, I could put an energy where the other food is as well. Then what would I do though? Because really, I'm really maximizing the crystal on the left. Or should I just put one energy? I'm not really going to change those to. to mining on on the last turn. I'm really not going to get much from it. Hard decision here guys, but I think yeah, I'm going to play it, play it a little conservatively, a little bit safe this game. I'm going to try and smash out Crystal on every conceivable last block, regardless of where it is. But I think this time around that strategy's not going to be great. Uh, we can pop mills back and we can get that money back, guys. That's the other thing you can do. Can I get another wampus at this stage of the game? You can get quite a bit of cash for him. Come on, come back up. Ah, bugger, he moved. He's over there to the left. I'm going to make that. Get in the pub. Yeah, I think these later ones, 300? Uh, definitely 300, possibly 400 for a wampus. I think I've been talking non-stop for this entire game. The first time I've taken a breather. We still have a chance. Oh no. No, because we still have a chance to get a pirate ship. And because nothing's happened before the production, again, it's the real risk. You don't get a pirate ship on the last go, because that's when your transport ship comes back. So this is the only opportunity for a second pirate ship. If we don't get it, then that really helps us boost our score and, the col and for the whole colony. If we get a pirate ship, it could just knock us back badly. Prevent. Oh! That's the other thing, like, I, I wonder if anyone who does get over those 50,000 sort of scores, if they have a game where you have no pirate ships. I think I've seen that, but it's pretty rare. 
I think it's like, I don't know, one in six chance of having one, and I don't know if the odds change as it gets higher in the months, and I think a maximum of a three, or it could be a maximum of two, but we got both. If you manage to miss those, and you're all in Christite, then maybe you can get up in that 50,000 mark. That I do not know. And our food... What are we changing on the next time round? I don't think we're actually going to be changing anything. So I don't even know if I have to buy, to be honest. What am I going to do? That food is going to stay there. I don't really want to put another energy out. I've got the other energy set. I think we're just going to going to, going to leave it for the last production, guys. It's just such a shame. We've just, you know, we've missed out on a huge amount of money there. the worst time for the pirate ship to be the month just before the end because that's typically where the most crystite production occurs except for the last round oh these guys are screwed they're going to be producing nothing if the screen guy doesn't sell his energy um, funnily enough I've got five extra on my critical and I'm not going to make any changes so actually I could sell those five for a reasonably high price, if they can get this green guy to bug out, get down to critical, and these other guys keep racing up, it's actually worth me selling these at a slightly higher price. Oh, come on, guys. I'm just going to sell one, and just hopefully that just pushes the price up of the store on the final... Um, on the final round because that's what that goods value is going to be and I'm going to still have energy and produce more energy so that gives me just a little bit of a bump so look at that guys colony stuck at 86 we would have been well and truly up there right we would have been well up in the late 90s and then get over 100 I don't think we're going to make it now and I'm on 25 so can't see me getting much you know, over 30 if, if anything. So yeah, I'm going to leave all my blocks. And oh, I should go for a Wampus. Hard to see when you've got so many things out. Oh, it's way on the other side. Oh no, it's moved. I've got to get there. <laughs> Damn Wampus. 222 gambling. 250. Another 222, interesting. <clears throat> 231. And now the ship is back. And if you haven't been counting the months as you play the game, then you can be fooled and think that they're getting another pirate ship. They sound the same before they come onto the screen. And you see the good blueness. You know that it's not. So, this is the final. Oh, and of course, because the, the pink guy didn't have any energy, it hasn't been due, so, damn. I was really trying to, yeah, uh, but I didn't have enough anyway, so this is not good guys, not good for the colony score, I don't think we're going to hit 100, bummer, bummer, that pirate ship stuffed it up, uh, yeah, weird thing, well not weird, but the thing that happens on the final round is the computers don't do anything. Um, because you get the goods value of the current price, so there's no point buying or selling. Uh, I believe there's a bit of a trick with human players that if you bid up and one person sells you something then at a high price, then that price is the price that is then used for goods, which can make your overall score higher. So there's a little bit of a trick there, but you can't do that with the computer players. Uh, so it is what it is. So there's no point me uh, selling here either. I'll get the value of 43 by 108. 
as a Christite. Um, gosh, and yeah, and food is up, so it was good to keep the food plot out, not change that over for energy, because I've actually got two at 2.35, so that's good. it out because there's a store there so you could still feasibly go up and buy some but no one's gonna do that of course and energy at 69 it's not bad to finish on with a bit of stock from the ones I produced hmm have we made a hundred guys oh I might as well stay up there because he's staying up there Come on, have we made a hundred? At least make a hundred. And did I just pip over thirty thousand? That would be awesome. Be a good good game. Especially on expert. I get a big head. So I'm first founder. Yes. yes. First founder. And did we get over a hundred? Ninety-six! I've got 30,000 though, we we'll get a reasonable score. Federation is pleased by your efforts and you will live comfortably. But we were just shy of 100 guys. Damn you pirate ship! Alright, well guys listen, that was a uh, that was a long episode for those that are still here with me. Uh, if you want me to try another one and, and go for another score on this, and you want me to, to film it, let me know. Otherwise I might be quietly, secretly doing more mule in the background, trying to get the skills up. See how well I can do and eventually maybe get a recording done and get it up at Twin Galaxies. Well, it'll be fun. Uh, dust off the meal, guys. Get into the game. It's awesome. Thanks for everyone for subscribing and all you Patreon guys. Always thank you very much for all your support. And, um, yep, plenty more to come. But until next time, keep on keeping on.